Tissues can be divided into two types, plant and animal tissues. The outline classification of plant tissues. Plant tissues is of two types, meristematic tissues and permanent tissues. Meristematic tissues are further divided into three categories, apical, intercalary, lateral. Permanent tissues are divided into two categories, simple and complex. Simple permanent tissues are further divided into three categories, parenchyma, collenchyma and sclerenchyma. Complex permanent tissues are further divided into two categories, xylem and phloem. Meristematic tissues This tissue contains thin, walled, undifferentiated and actively dividing cells, that is, meristematic cells, which are found in those zones of the plant where growth can take place. Meristematic cells give rise to various organs of the plant and keep the plant growing. Nature Cells of meristems divide continuously and help in increasing the length and girth of the plant. Meristematic tissues show the following characteristics. The cells of meristematic tissue are similar in structure and have thin cellulose cell walls. The meristematic cells may be spherical, oval, polygonal or rectangular in shape. The meristematic cells are compactly arranged and do not contain any intercellular space between them. Each meristematic cell contains dense or abundant cytoplasm and a single large nucleus. Location Meristematic tissues are growth tissues and are found in the growing regions of the plant. According to their position in the plant, meristems are apical, lateral and intercalary. Apical meristems these are situated at the growing tips of roots, stems and branches and leads to elongation. Lateral meristem These are found between the bark and wood of trees where it leads to the increase in the thickness that is girth of stem. Intercalary meristem. They are located at the base of leaves or internode. For example, stems of grasses also above or below the nodes. For example, mint. They help the organ to grow in length. Functions Meristematic tissue acts as a parent tissue from which other tissues develop. These tissues take part in growth by formation of new cells. With the help of meristems, plants continue to produce new leaves, branches of stem and root, flowers, fruits, etc. Activity To study that how apical meristem causes growth in length. Apparatus Two glass jars, two onion bulbs, scissors or scalpel, water. Working Take two glass jars. Fill them with water.
Place the onion bulb over the mouth of each jar in such a way that stem base of the bulb dips in water. Roots develop from the base of the bulbs in both the jars. Measure the length of roots on day 1, 2 and 3. On day 4, cut root tips of the onion in jar B about 1 cm. Again, measure the length of roots on each day, that is 5, 6, 7. Record your observation as given below. What changes do you observe in two onion placed in different jars? Which tissue do you think is responsible for increasing the length of roots? Permanent tissue Permanent tissues are found by the continuous division of the meristematic tissue. These newly formed cells elongate mature and get differentiated into various types of permanent tissues. These are composed of cells that have lost the power of division, having attained their definite form and size. They form the bulk of plant body. They may be dead or living. Depending upon their structure, they are classified into two types simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue These tissues are made up of cells which are similar in structure and function. They include protective and supporting tissues. They are of three types. Parenchyma, calenchyma and sclerenchyma. Parenchyma is the most abundant tissue in the plants, present in almost all organs of plants, like stems, roots, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. Structure It consists of isodiametric living cells, which may be oval, round or polygonal in shape. They are thin-walled, and have intercellular spaces between them. They have large vacuole. Functions These cells store food material and waste products of plants such as tenon, gum, crystals, etc. Parenchyma cells containing chloroplasts perform photosynthesis and are known as Chlorenchyma. Chlorenchyma. This tissue have living cells which are usually elongated with thick corners. Structure. Intercellular spaces are usually absent in this tissue. Location. The cells of cholenchyma are located below the epidermis of dicotyledonous stem midrib of dicot leaves and in the leaf stalk. Function It gives mechanical support and elasticity to the part in which it is found. It allows easy bending in various parts of a plant without actually breaking it. Sclerenchyma Sclerenchyma cells are dead cells and they are devoid of protoplasm. Structure Sclerenchyma is composed of extremely thick walled cells with little or no protoplasm. The cells are highly elongated, narrow, spindle shaped, and dead. Intercellular space absent. Location Sclerenchyma occurs in abundance in stems, roots, veins of leaves and hard coverings of seeds and nuts. Function They give mechanical strength and rigidity to the plant body. Sclerenchyma fibers are used to manufacture ropes and certain textile fibers.
differences between parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma parenchyma colenchyma sclerenchyma living cells with thin cell walls living cells with slightly thick cell wall dead cells with thick cell walls cells are uniformly thin and are loosely packed with large intercellular spaces cells are elongated and irregularly thickened at the corners with very little intercellular spaces cells are long and narrow as walls are thickened due to lignin a type of cementing material these walls are so thick that there is no internal space cell wall is made up of cellulose thickening around cells are due to the deposition of pectin and cellulose thickening in the cell is due to the deposition of lignin it is the most abundant tissue present in epidermis which is outer covering and softer tissues such as mesophyll of leaf flower and fruit it is found below epidermis in the petiole leaves and stems it is found in the husk of coconut in stems around vascular bundles in the veins of leaves in the hard coverings of seeds and nuts it provides support stores food waste products such as tannin gum crystals etc it provides mechanical support and elasticity it allows leaf and stem to bond it is the main mechanical tissue of plant which provides rigidity to leaves and strength to seed coverings it helps the plant to withstand various types of mechanical strains when parenchyma or colenchyma cells contain chloroplast then it is called chlorenchyma and these cells perform photosynthesis in aquatic plants parenchyma cells contain large air cavities which provide buoyancy that is the ability to float such parenchyma is called parenchyma complex permanent tissue complex permanent tissue consists of more than one type of cells which work together as a unit and perform a common function xylem and phloem are called the complex tissue or vascular tissue xylem and phloem together form vascular bundles they are conducting tissues xylem nature xylem contains dead vascular and mechanical tissue it is a conducting tissue it is composed of vessels tracheids fibers and xylem parenchyma functions they are involved in the upward transport of water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the different parts of the shoot they give mechanical strength to the plant body phloem nature phloem is a living conducting tissue which contains different types of cells such as sieve tubes phloem fibers phloem parenchyma and companion cells functions phloem transports photosynthetically prepared food materials from the leaves to the storage organs and later from storage organs to the growing regions of the plant body they provide mechanical support to the plant tissue differences between xylem and phloem xylem it consists of dead cells 
the cell walls of xylem tissue are thick. It transports water and minerals from roots to different parts of shoot. Phloem. It consists of living cells. The cell walls of phloem tissue are thin. It transports food from leaves to growing regions of the plant body. Fact file. Vascular tissue. This tissue, also called conducting tissue, consists of different types of cells working together as a unit to perform a given function. Vascular tissue is of two types, xylem and phloem. Both xylem and phloem are tubes running throughout the plant. They are concerned with transportation of materials within the plant body. In the stem, xylem and phloem occur together as distinct bunches called vascular bundles. Xylem lying towards the center and phloem lying outside. Given figure shows the ring-like arrangement of vascular bundles in a stem. You might have seen that some people carve their names on trees. Now, you can guide them that excessive carving on the bark may harm the tree as phloem lies just underneath the bark. Activity To show that water moves up through xylem vessels. Method Keep a twig of petunia plant with white flower in a beaker containing red colored water. After few hours, the color of the flower changes red. Take the plant out and make a transverse section of the stem. Observe under a microscope. Some cells show red-colored portion. This clearly shows that all the cells do not conduct water, but only few cells do it, and these are xylem vessels. Action Flour in the beaker remains fresh for a few days when kept in water because xylem vessels keep on conducting water for all parts of the plant. 